The Godhead is never working independently because God is one. The Father, the Son, and the Spirit are united. They are submitted to each other. They are in perpetual relationship with no divisions and no divides. Their relationship, that's what it means for their relationship to be eternal. It doesn't simply mean it had no beginning and it will have no end. It means that it has a perpetual purpose that they never break away from, turn away from, limit or grow. They stay not in their lane, in their relationship. Because this isn't about lanes. It's about relationships. It's not about purposes. It's not about accomplishments. It's not about the works. It's about the relationship. And so that the Father and the Son and the Spirit, the one triune God that we will never grasp until we see Him, is in a perpetual relationship that Jesus came to invite us into. Jesus was saying that the Father sent Him to give the relationship that they have with each other to us. Jesus came to invite us into their relationship. Remember a couple years ago we did this whole series on prayer and the conclusion we came to is that prayer is God's invitation for us to pull up a chair to the table and join the conversation. That prayer is because the Son is always interceding, the Spirit is always interceding. And so our invitation to prayer is that God the Father said, join the conversation. Pull up to the adult table. And don't just listen. Share your heart. That makes prayer, that means prayer is not some magical formula, but it's also not some religious ritual. It is an invitation to the deepest part of an intimate relationship. The things that God is saying to each other, he wants us to have an ear for them. The things that we've only been saying in ourselves, he wants us to express them to his ear. He has invited us into his relationship with himself. This is why Jesus went on to pray in John 17, 21, that they all may be one. That's one with each other, but not only with each other. Just as you, Father, are in me and I in you, that they also may be in us, so that the world may believe that you said. So often we use John 17 as nothing more than a unity passage, and it matters for unity, but the unity that matters most is our unity with the Godhead, because how can we have unity with each other if we don't have unity with God? And so yes, the calling is to be one with each other, but that's by being one with God, because as we're one with God, oneness with each other actually starts to work itself out, because if I'm connected to the Father, and you're connected to the Father, all of our wrinkles, all of our issues, all of our problems that divided us, the Father himself starts to iron all of those things out. 